finding time uh, for Iranians and for Americans because finally the price that we pay for our addiction to coal is about to be fixed by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. America's addiction to coal is a dirty source of electricity. It's making us sick. It's made us sick for decades. Air pollution from burning coal causes some very serious life-threatening health problems. Children and senior citizens are especially vulnerable, but mercury, of all the poisons that come from burning coal, mercury is the most toxic that we have. It puts pregnant women and their babies at risk for learning disabilities, developmental disorders, and lower IQs. Not a good thing for anybody. One in ten women of childbearing age in the United States has enough mercury in her blood to put her child at risk of developmental damage should she become pregnant. Each year, 300,000 300, American babies are born at risk of birth defects from mercury pollution. How this happens is during the critical windows of brain development that occur in utero and in the first year or two of a child's life, mercury exposure can lead to irreversible deficits in attention and motor control damage to verbal skills, reduced IQ, birth defects, neurological disorders, learning disabilities, developmental delays, cerebral palsy, and all sorts of developmental disabilities. What price are we paying for these 300 children, 300,000 children, and the lives that they lead, and the special help that they need from all the rest of us to be as productive as they possibly can? I can't even begin to imagine. Can you? In 2010, two-thirds of all airborne mercury pollution in the United States came from the smokestacks of power plants burning coal. That generates more airborne mercury pollution than all other industrial sources combined. 33 tons of this toxin are being pumped into the air every year. Mercury poisoning occurs by eating contaminated fish, which absorb pollution brought down by rain. In America, there are 491 coal-fired power plants. They emit 78,000 pounds of toxic mercury each year. Here in Florida, number one is up the road away in Fernando County, Crystal, excuse me, yeah, Fernando County, Crystal River power plant. It emits 688 pounds. Now, is that a lot? It only takes one teaspoon of mercury to contaminate the fish in a 20-acre lake like we have so many of here in Tampa Bay. One teaspoon. Crystal River, 688 pounds. How does it work? It gets into the air, it comes down with the rain into the water, and it can build up in fish and animals. It's basically a function of how far up the food chain the fish is. So when you're talking about fish that a lot of people like to eat, like tuna or group, a lot of mercury, guys, a lot of mercury. All 50 states currently have advisories warning women and children not to eat local fish due to mercury contamination. And here in Florida, the Department of Environmental Protection has long warned us for decades about the risk of 80 different types of fish caught everywhere in the state of Florida. It doesn't come from a plant pumping out a toxic pollution into the water directly. It comes from aerial emissions that come down with the rainfall. That's why we need a national standard to prevent the pollution that not only comes from Florida power plants, but from Texas and Kansas and Nebraska and all over. Powering our homes should not poison Florida's kids. And there is a cure. The US EPA can protect us. They are on the brink this week of finalizing the rule that will require utilities to capture 91% of the mercury that now comes out of their smokestacks. There is no rule. Today, that says they have to capture any of it. We are lucky here in Tampa Bay. About a decade ago, President Clinton and Carol Browner at the EPA required TECO to clean up its act. So TECO cleaned up at Big Ben, installed these type of filtration systems, and today TECO, according to Representative Kathy Castor, supports this new rule because they said, we already did it. TECO isn't polluting Tampa Bay's fish the way Progress Energy is. We need the same rule to have a level playing field for all utilities so utilities like TECO can compete with Progress Energy, make them do what they did a decade ago to protect the rest of us. And that's why we need this rule. 
These new protections will save money for working families suffering health problems from toxic pollution. Think how much health care and services for these problems are costing us out of our pockets and costing us as taxpayers. They'll create jobs because guys will have to install pollution control equipment on these power plants and it will give us an impetus to move to cleaner energy, which is how Florida needs to grow. You think we have any wind? You think we have any sunshine here in Florida? How much mercury pollution comes from solar power? None. It would also help boost our economy. Now, these new standards will limit this. Under the authority of the EPA, under the Clean Air Act, the standard will go into effect in the very near future. The good news for all of you young women, now let me amend that. Mercury is not good for any of us. But if you're a young woman of childbearing age, you all need to be very careful about this because who knows, maybe one day you might choose to have a baby, right? In a few years' time, the good news is that mercury levels will plummet year after year after year over the course of the next few years. Mercury levels will decline in the new fish so that in a few years' time, the guides that we have, the rules and, and warnings that we have 